Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss Woods notation, and we are going to illustrate several examples using Lego brand locking bricks. Woods notation describes the relationship between two structures. The first structure is the structure of a crystal surface, and secondly is the structure of the adsorbates onto that structure. Let us first consider a surface structure with fourfold symmetry, such as BCC100 or FCC100. We can describe this structure with two vectors, A1 and A2. In the cases where we have this fourfold square symmetry, A1 will be equal to A2. We can likewise describe the structure of the adsorbates onto this structure. Let's show them over here in blue. And let's imagine that on every single site, or on single on top site of this structure here, we have an adsorbate molecule that is shown in blue. Now we can describe this structure in terms of two vectors, the vector in this direction being B1, the vector in this direction being B2, and again, by coincidence, B1 is equal to B2. The central part of the description in Wood's notation involves the ratio of B1 to A1, the ratio of this length to that length, by, with a cross sign, B2 divided by A2, where these particular values will be rational. They'll either be whole numbers or they'll be some sort of root number. If the adsorbate lattice is rotated relative to the uh, crystal structure lattice, some angle other than zero, then we add R, the angle theta, where theta is in degrees, after this expression here. Finally, if this particular absorbate structure is a primitive unit cell, we put the letter P in front, P being for primitive. If it turns out it is a centered cell, then we put the letter C in front. Here is the bodied centered cubic 100 zero, zero plane. And here we notice the fourfold symmetry of the atoms there. And then shown in this dark circle, this is the center atom, which is going to be below the surface of the gold color atoms that are all in the same plane. We notice here that one of these lines going left to right is going to be the vector A1, and then going in this direction, north-south, is going to be the A2 vector for the lattice. Here we have the adsorbate carbon monoxide at the on top sites. And now we notice as far as the lattice for the adsorbate, from here to here is B1, which you notice is exactly the same length as A1. And then we have the vector going north, which is the B2 vector, which again is the same length as A2. Therefore, this is going to be the primitive one by one absorbate. Here we have the exact same coverage, but now it's just showing more examples. So we see what it would look like to have the uh, primitive one by one coverage. Every one of the on type sites would be filled with one carbon monoxide molecule adsorbed. For this coverage, we notice that going from here to there, we're now going two lengths of A1, while in the north-south direction, B2 is exactly the same length as A2. 
So therefore, this is the primitive 2 by 1 coverage. Now, for the absorbance, we notice that going from left to right, the length B1 is twice the length of A1. The length from absorbate molecule to absorbate molecule is now, for B2, is now twice A2. So this is going to be the primitive 2 by 2 coverage. Now we have a similar uh, related adsorbate structure. Again, we notice going from here left to right that from one absorbate to the next, this length B1 is twice the length of A1. So it's twice the length of the length of the unit cell for the crystal. And then in this direction, B2 is twice the length of A2. So therefore, again, we have a 2 by 2 coverage. But now, notice that in the center, we have an additional uh, adsorbate, which we didn't have before when we had the primitive 2 by 2. So this gives us the centered 2 by 2. There is another equivalent way to refer to this coverage. But now, instead of thinking of this being our unit cell, a 2 by 2 square with a lattice point in the center, now let's look at these four absorbates. So now we have a square, but now it's a square that's rotated 45 degrees from the uh, crystal lattice on which it's absorbed. We notice that if this length is a, then this length here is going to be the square root of two times a. So here we have what is called the primitive square root of two by square root of two our 45 degree absorption, which we notice is essentially equivalent to the centered 2 by 2. Here we have the FCC 111 or the HCP 0001 surfaces. And we can clearly see the threefold symmetry. Notice that the vector A1 is here, and the vector A2 has exactly the same length, but that the two vectors are not perpendicular to each other. For this coverage, we notice B1, the distance between the absorbate molecules, is exactly the same as the lattice vector A1. Here we notice that the distance between the two adsorbed molecules is B2, which is the same length as A2. So B1 divided by A1 is equal to 1, B2 divided by A2 is equal to 1. So therefore, here we have the primitive 1 by 1 coverage. Here we have like, another coverage on the FCC111. We notice that in this particular direction, the A1 direction, the vector B1 is twice as long as A1. So B1 divided by A1 is equal to 2. And then in this direction, B2 is twice the length of A2. So B2 divided by A2 is equal to 2. So here we have the 2 by 2, primitive 2 by 2 coverage on FCC 111. Here we have an extended model of FCC 111 or HCP 0001 and we see with the adsorbate that we have this is B1, this is B2, 
So therefore, we have a primitive 2 by 2 coverage. Here is an extended model of square root of 3 by square root of 3 are 30 degrees. To see where the r30 degrees is, we notice that a1 goes along the line of the stick here. b1 is rotated from that angle. How much is it rotated? Well, if we notice that this particular from a1 to a2 is 60 degrees, that is entirely bisected by the rotation angle we have here, so that gives us 30 degrees. To see how this particular length is the square root of 3, we notice that we end up forming a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And if we realize that one of the sides of a um, 30, 60, 90 triangle, if this was just length A, the length here would be the square root of 3 over 2. Since we have A1, A1, two A1s here, this is going to be the square root of 3 over 2 times 2. So that gives us the square root of 3 by the square root of 3 our 30 degree coverage for our adsorbate. I thank you again for your kind attention. Stay safe and as always, have a good one.